Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, and this is your Cannabis Business Podcast. First comes banking, then comes taxes. The IRS tax code is crippling and devastating for the cannabis industry. Cannabis companies are facing another tax year bogged down by IRS limitations that designate them as drug traffickers and single them out for special treatment. It's crippling to businesses, said Michael Raisin, CFO of Colorado-based LiveWell. It really doesn't allow for the sustainability of these businesses. It's really that onerous. It's just devastating, he said. Rule 280E applies to the plant-touching business, those that grow, process, handle, and sell cannabis-containing products as opposed to companies that manufacture and sell peripheral products like processing equipment, vape pens, and other paraphernalia. Specifically, the rule states that no deductions are allowed for any product paid or incurred in carrying on any trade or business if the trade or, or business consists of trafficking in controlled substances. The only solution to the 280 conundrum is to change the law. Cannabis companies and their lobbyists are trying to do just that, a renewed push for Congress to adopt the States Act, which is strengthening the 10th Amendment through Entrusting States Act, was reintroduced Thursday and has bipartisan support from both Republicans and Democrats. Essentially, it says if you're in a state where cannabis is a legal substance and it's a regulated industry and you're a company that's in good standing with the regulators, then for you and your states, it's not a violation of the Controlled Substances Act. Under the tax code, cannabis businesses are permitted to deduct costs associated with producing their products, though that's where the typical business advantages end. That leaves retailers and integrated businesses at a disadvantage compared with growers. Everything you can think of that's outside the production and manufacturing costs would not be deductible under the IRS's interpretation of 280E. In response to Yahoo Finance's question asking whether Section 280E will prevent pass-through filers from deducting cannabis business-related expenses, the IRS declined to comment. Asked about its position on whether corporate and individual tax filers may deduct investment losses for stock purchases in cannabis industry companies, a spokesperson for the IRS told Yahoo Finance that the department was checking into the issue and would respond back if it found any information. Ultimately, Congress's adoption of the States Act would mean more opportunities for cannabis companies to participate in the American economy and more opportunities for those businesses to create jobs. And with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is the Talking Hedge, your cannabis business podcast. Like, subscribe, and share, or don't, and I'm out.